you were the most radiantly beautiful pigtailed girl in all of Shuttlebrook Elementary. Everything changed that year. Why did you wait so long? Why did we wait so long, Ryan? I don't know. I think I was afraid. That it might change things. That I might lose you in the end. I don't know if I can do it. If I can watch you go. time in the world. Believe in me. Yeah, hello? Jeff? Yeah, Jeff, I can hear you. There's a bomb. At the lab, there's some crazy guy. He, he's got a bomb inside the event chamber. A what? Is Dr. Webb with you? Maybe back to the driver. Caitlin. Caitlin? Kate? Dr. Winrich, thank God. Caitlin, where is she? Hey, Ryan? Ryan, no. Hey, hey, Ryan! Ryan, there. There. Ryan you can't Ryan, go in there! Ryan. I 
I got a code 80, temporal science building. He's going up. Warning. Warning. Evacuation protocols are now in effect. Please proceed to emergency exit. Dispatch, we are 1074 on that runner. Uh... Hey! Hey! Stop right there! Freeze! It's never going to be the same now. It's never going to be the same and it's our fault. Caitlin. No. We let him go, Ryan. We were selfish and now he's gone. I can't do this. Ryan, please don't. You're not going to stop, are you? I can't stop. Not now. Not when we're so close. Nate would never forgive us if we did. He's gone, Ryan. Don't you see where this is going? Bill? And now Nate? I can't lose you two. You're all I have left. It's not just about us anymore. Don't you see where this leads? They don't have to die. Once we figure this thing out, there's nothing that says they have to die, Ryan, Kate. Ryan, stop and listen to yourself. Our whole lives, everything, everything has led up to this. How can you ask me to turn and walk away? You think that Nate would walk away? Or Bill? Think of what they sacrificed. So are you doing this for them, Ryan, or for you? I don't know! I don't know what I'm doing anymore. If I ask you to stop... If I ask you to stop... Will you stop? How? How can I? How can I? I can't lose you, Ryan. You won't. We're going to be together. I promise. Once I finish this. So that's it then. That's your choice. Caitlin. Power up the portal. We have work to do. Warning. Warning. Accelerator activation sequence initiated. 
Nate gave us the clue. Analysis of the portal after the accident showed a transport of over 75 years' time. He solved the pulse resonance problem by altering the number of dimensions in the equation. So, he was right all along. Now all that's left for us to do is to stabilize the carrier frequency so the tissue samples stay viable upon re-entry. If we can do that... What are you standing around for? Let's make it happen. Successful. Cellular cohesion intact. Quantum incoherence nominal. Tachyon syncopation achieved. So, did we do it? We'll know in a moment. He checks out everything. You really did it. We did it. All of us.
Dr. Webb, Dr. Winrich, in honor of this momentous occasion. Success! I, um, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Here we go. And you. how did you sneak this in here, you two? Um, I might have hidden it in my lab coat. Toast. <laughs> what are we toasting? Two Nobel Prizes by the bucket loads. Nobel Prize Nobel here. Prize. <laughs> <laughs> to Nathan. And to Nathan. To Nathan. To Nathan. And to Edward, the time traveling mouse. <laughs> <laughs> and to Edward. <laughs> to Edward. To Edward. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on a second. Yeah. Uh, he's a little young. <laughs> he is too young. Oh, no, no, no. Come no, no, no. on. Is it true you sent a living creature through the time portal? Dr. Winwich, will you be the first man to travel through time? What does this mean for the future of mankind? Dr. Winwich, excuse me. Excuse me. Someone leaked it to the press. No comment. No comment. Over here. Dr. Winwich. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready, buddy? It is with great pleasure that I present to you the Quantum 4 2. The world's first temporal manipulation portal. Are we having fun yet? I can get used to this. And now, if you would all take your positions, we can begin the demonstration. timer is set for 10 seconds, meaning that we will be sending the object 10 seconds into the future. Then 10 seconds after entering the event horizon, it will re-emerge from the other side. It's worth noting that only non-conductive materials can traverse the portal. Due to the high energy requirements of maintaining the field, any conductive metals would cause the portal to lose stability and collapse. What would happen to all that energy if the portal did collapse, theoretically? 
it would dissipate exponentially. Which is why we have taken the precaution of sealing the event chamber. This state-of-the-art blast-proof facility can withstand up to 80 terajoules of thermonuclear pressure, the equivalent of an atomic bomb. Atomic bomb? Good analogy. Pre-delivery cycle complete. Delivering payload in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Delivery successful. Awaiting tachyon syncopation telemetry. Processing. Emergence in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Moment of truth. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just witnessed time travel. Dr. Winrich, Larry Fincher, Science Journal America. Oh, hi, Larry. Your previous experiments in temporal physics utilized much smaller particle accelerators. What are you boys using to power this monster? Um, well, Larry, that, you know, that, that, that's a damn good question. And since I like damn good questions, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Follow me. Poor Larry. Okay, game face. Hi. Larry, welcome to JLab E99117 Alpha. Also known as Big Bertha. Now, this is what you might call an atomic feedback generator. Basically, it's a big-ass nuclear battery that can exponentially amplify the atomic energy output generated by the Atom Smashers. Yeah, boys at NASA can't wait to get their hands on this one. And all the feedback here is internal to the system. And all the load-bearing circuitry feeds directly into the event chamber. So, in the case of any unfortunate accident, the discharge would be completely pacified by the gravimetric fields generated by the portal. Well, sounds like you guys have taken every precaution. So tell me, you don't think there's any risk of, oh, say, ripping a permanent hole in space-time with this thing? <laughs> because as I understand, that would be the inevitable outcome of toying with Heisenberg's uncertainty principle equations. Which, as far as I can tell, is exactly what you guys are doing here. <laughs> Larry, 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 Larry. As much power as it takes to create a sustained, temporary rift. It's nothing compared to what is required to produce a permanent, self-sustaining black hole in our universe lair. Come on. Trust me. We're safe as bugs and rugs. Big Bertha is connected solely to the event chamber. The rest of the lab runs on city power. Yeah. Is that really them? Them they are, Larry. The very first objects ever successfully sent through the portal four years ago at this very university. Yeah. You know, anytime anyone accuses me of losing my marbles, I make sure I bring them in here. Now, let's go check out those sweet robot arms, eh? We're very grateful. Yeah. You guys Thank have you. been just 
just amazing. It's so important to have credible science journalism. Your piece on the case was almost Ghost? Uh. Huh? You look like you've seen one. No, I'm, I'm just tired, I guess. Okay, well this probably isn't helping. Yeah. We can get out of here if you want. Go get a piece of pie somewhere. It'll cover for us. It's all happening. The way Bill said it would. It's almost like he knew, you know? Well, he was right about you. You're going to change the world, Ryan Winrit. I have a feeling about you. What kind of feeling? Hey, there they are. My two favorite people in time and space. Hey, Did man. you miss me as much as I miss me? <laughs> it was highly improbable. <laughs> so, now for the big question. How long do you guys send a person through this thing? <laughs> well, Larry, we could tell you that information, but then we would have to kill you. No, I don't want to kill you, Larry. I like you. But we'll let you in on one more secret we have here at the lab. Yeah, come on. No fillings. Just saying. <laughs> All right. Come one on. more thing. How does it feel to be the top names in science since Albert Einstein? Um, well, actually, Einstein once said that it's strange to be so well known and yet still be so lonely. <clears throat> yeah, well, Dr. Nathan Beaumont once said, fuck Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, hold on to the hair plugs, Lair. Cause you ain't seen nothing yet. How's your head? I stole his sunglasses as punishment for his bad attempt at karaoke last night. Revenge is a cruel bitch. I think you mean fate. Yeah, <laughs> I think I do. <laughs> Never ever again. So understand this. Man does not have dominion over time. God has given man dominion 
over the earth. Right. But time transcends man's stewardship of this world. Science has finally gone too far and encroached where it does oh. not belong. Encroached? Where? Hold on, you guys, that's Abner Rosen. That is the bully from Shadowbrook Elementary School. It's Abner Rosen, look. <laughs> Hear Holy me, shit. brothers and sisters. Literally. Ladies and gentlemen, the disciples of Satan. We should go. Yeah. Repent, Repent. sinners. Repent. Repent, sinners. I got some repentance for you right here. Nathan. Check it. Nate. Good morning. Hey, Nate. Hey, Hi. Nate. Good morning, Dr. Nate Beaumont, scientist. Okay, what have we here? Let me guess. Science comes from the devil, am I right? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, evolution is lie, right? Jesus rode a dinosaur, and the earth is flat. Is that about the gist of the conversation that we're having here today? Science does come from the devil, sir. Uh, okay. And it's come meant on. to mislead Let's us go. from our righteousness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. If you weren't so blinded by your smug, elitist arrogance, <laughs> you would see just how cleverly Satan has pulled the wool over your eyes. Okay, that's it. Hey, I've heard enough. Nate, come on. I'm gonna go ahead and forget my one ass kick per customer rule. Just today, just for you, douchebag. Nate. Huh? Come on. The cowardice of science. <laughs> we have to go oh, yeah. now. Do not Don't tempt Nate. the laws of providence. Use what time you have left and beg for his forgiveness. Keep drinking the Kool Aid, Abby! Do not give in to the shadow demons of your science. Failure. Protein breakdown detected. Code 46682. Exit wave syncopation lost. Molecular cohesion lost. I don't get it. I just don't get it. The organic material should retain stability now. Just doesn't make any sense. Take a break, bro. I'm not the only one that had more than a few drinks last night. Where is it breaking down? I don't know. Man. Somewhere in the pulse resonance. Okay. Every atom in the universe resonates at a frequency specific to its time and place. When we put matter through the portal, we're sending it out of sync with the universe, and that, that doesn't affect inorganic material. Like the marbles. Exactly. But living tissue can't survive because of the strain of the membranes on an atomic level. Okay. So it's out of sync with the flow of energy from the new timeline when it re-enters. Exactly, but this equation should correct for the change in electromagnetic force. So why isn't it working? We've been running the same experiment for hours. It's, <laughs> it's not, not the, the same, same experiment. experiment. Yeah, okay, well, virtually... <laughs> same experiment. Let's switch things up a little bit. Hey, Nate, I thought we agreed not to liquefy any more mice until we worked out the kinks. Ella, you two aren't the only geniuses in the room, you know. Let's have a little faith. Interesting. What? Instead of altering the resonance on emergence... We altered upon entry into the portal. And we can use exit wave, readjust, and correct for any discrepancies. That's brilliant. Timer set at 10 seconds. Delivery in five, four, three, two, one. Delivery successful. Processing. It'll work. Emergency in five, four, three, two, one.
Delivery cycle complete. Way to go, Nate. Attention. Error detected. Oh, no. What? Warning. Sample stability in extremis. Protein breakdown. Quantum coherence breakdown. Molecular cohesion failure. Unable to compensate. Damn it. We'll get there. Well, look at the numbers again, and maybe we'll find something. Claudia, let's get that under a microscope and see what we can learn from it. Sorry, Jeff. Poor Jeffrey. Poor Jeffrey. Poor Bella. You guys know they call them lab rats for a reason, right? Nice. All right, then a toast. To Bella, mouse of science. Long may she dine on the giant cheese wheel in the sky. Nice. Ah, oh, come on, guys. We're getting there, all right? What, today is just another step, a pathway to eventual success. I think somebody needs to lay off his euphemisms for a while. I think somebody's got a pretty good hold on his euphemisms, okay? Oh. <laughs> you alright? I was just thinking about Bill. I miss him, you know, on days like today. We all do. Yeah. You know, I actually kind of envy Bill a little bit. Hey, hey, you hey, know? I think someone's reached their limit. Mm. No, I'm serious, you guys. Bill finally figured out the answer is the greatest mystery of all. What lies beyond? I guess we all figure that one out sooner or later, huh? Hey, uh, a toast. A toast to our friend and our mentor, Bill Marshall. I think he'd be proud. To Bill. Bill. And on that note, gentlemen, I am going to take a powder and hit the road. No, 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 no. Early morning. Uh, I don't wanna... but Wait, wait, you haven't ordered dessert. 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 Come on. If there's one thing I've learned about Dr. Caitlin Webb in the 16 years since I've known her, she never goes without dessert. This is true. When she can order dessert, mm -hmm. unless there's an annoying, drunk idiot at the table. So, oh, no, Nate, Nate. come on. Nate, come on. I will take my leave. And I will hail Look, a cab. I'll take you home. No, Just... no, 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 no. You kids have fun, okay? I'll see you in the morning. Bright and early. Ish. You know, what? Let me know what happens. You call me I if saw. you need anything, all right? I will not call you. <laughs> <laughs> Good old mate. Good old mate. <laughs> Miskatonic University driver. Don't spare the whip. So... So... <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> you know what's funny? Is I don't actually think I can remember the last time we were alone together. That'd be... November 4th, 2004. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. It was election night and everybody went out to drown their sorrows. <laughs> they left us alone in the lab minding some experiment or something. <laughs> and I remember sitting there watching you work. And you were so meticulous. And so intense. And then when you finally did notice me, I totally freaked and I dropped the stack of test slides all over the floor oh. and shattered everywhere. You cut your finger on this. Yeah, right there. Still the scar. Oh my gosh.
Dr. Beaumont? It's late. It is late. It's very late, Jeffrey. <laughs> it's uh, very late in the hour. Hello, Dr. Beaumont. Terminal encryption active. Nate, is there anything I can help you with? Or... Eh, I'm afraid not, Doogie. Not tonight. Accelerator activation sequence initiated. would change everything. You know, Bill once told me most people live life between the moments, never really seeing what's right in front of them until the moment is gone. He said, Ryan, it's easy to be afraid. But if you can face your fear in the moment, everything else becomes clear. It's the lab. Oh. Yeah, this is Ryan. Organism detected. I think it's high time for human trials, boys and girls! Oh! Accelerator activation sequence complete. Portion. Oh! Safety protocols disengaged. Nathan! Nathan, get out of there! Nathan! For heaven's sake, what are you Safety doing? Safety protocol failure. Unable to override. He's overridden the doors from the mainframe. I can't get it open. Here, let me try. Adjustments to the signal resonator. It's good. Perfectly safe now. <laughs> Communication channel active. Nathan, just come out of there and we'll go over those changes together, okay? We'll take this thing through. No, 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 no. I got this, brother. I solved it, okay? We're good. I figured this out. And, and to prove it to you, and to show you how I'm sure I am, I, Nathan Charles Beaumont, am gonna step into the unknown. <laughs> and become the world's first time traveler. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kate. I beat you to it. Nate, sweetie, look at me, okay? You had a lot to drink tonight, okay? And we're not gonna do this now, not like this, okay? It's not safe. Nate, please don't do this. Nate, try and do something. Terminal encryption active. Access denied. Damn it! Delivery successful. Emergence in seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
And that's all he said. That's all he said. Had he ever exhibited any behavior that could be interpreted as suicidal before this? No. Do you think he purposely intended to end his life? I don't know. No. I don't know. Detective, we have some information. Excuse me. What was he thinking? What were you thinking? <clears throat> that was the lab. The substance is human remains. The blood type appears to match that of Dr. Beaumont's. I'm sorry. I think I have enough here for tonight. We can get the rest in the morning. Uh, Dr. Winridge, if I may for a moment. Sure. Hang on, okay? Okay. Yeah. Uh, just out of curiosity and, uh, for the record, how old was Dr. Beaumont? He's, uh, 28. Why? The lab boys say the cellular decay of the substance in that room was over 75 years old. Any idea how that could be? Transferring feed to the resonator? Now! Alright, Caitlin. Gently. That's it. You got it. Almost there. Power's as steady as she's gonna be. Resonating at 22.5. The portal should be active. All right, Mr. Winrich. It's in your hands now. Three, two, one. Seconds exactly. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> did it, buddy. You did it, buddy. We did it. We did it. We built the time machine. Time. Yeah, we built the time machine. We built the time machine. I can't believe we built. We went into the future. Bill, Bill, we did it. What's wrong? What is it? Huh? No, Bill. Call 911. What happened? Call 911 now! Go! Penny. 
patient. No, hang on. Hang on. Please. Please. No, Nathan. No, no, wait. What do we do? What? It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. You guys? Do you remember the first time we met? A bunch of nerdy, misfit kids, and he brought us together. God, it, it seems like yesterday. It's, it's 13 years ago. <laughs> 13 good years. Yeah. I'm sorry. It was his heart. I'm very sorry. So what's the matter? Nothing. Everything's okay, Mom. Are you sure? Yeah. Just go back to sleep. Okay. Okay. Bill was a rare individual. He was a teacher, a mentor, and a good friend. 
He was the kind of person that made you want to be more than you thought you could be. And if you were lucky enough to listen, and he spoke about the wonders of this universe around us, your entire perspective on life, on everything, would be forever changed. I, I never knew my real father. I like to think. I like, I like to think that Bill knew that I always wished that it could have been him. He made me what I am today. And I will always thank him for that. As from the heavens we came, so to the heavens do we return. From ashes to ashes, from dust to dust. I think Dad would have really liked Bill. Wherever he is, I'm sure Dad's very proud, Ryan. Of all you've been able to do. Come on. Dean Foster's looking for you at the house. Hey, you all right, bro? No, no. I need to talk to you, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, I have to talk to the Dean real quick. No. Now, Ryan. I need to talk to you now, okay? Nathan Charles Beaumont, that was a beautiful eulogy. Thanks. I remember when you were in the eighth grade, <laughs> you were terrified of public speaking. There was a particular humanity. Caitlin. Hey. Ryan. Dean Foster. Good of you to come. William was a good friend, Ryan. And you kids, you meant everything to him. You know that. He was the best. William was a rare breed. He taught school not because he had to, but because he loved it. And when he talked about you three, you should have seen the gleam in his eye. It's a rare thing of joy, that sense of accomplishment a professor gets when he realizes that one of his students has truly surpassed him. And with you three, well, I know for a fact that he thought of you as family. What you may not know is that Bill had a sizable savings. Old money. But he didn't touch a cent of it. He was setting it aside for your research. And he left specific instructions. It's true, isn't it? About your recent success? Yes. Then, with your blessing, we're going to write a new chapter in the history of Miskatonic University. Starting with the construction of the William Marshall School of Temporal Sciences, a new wing devoted to your groundbreaking work and Bill's enduring legacy. I don't know what to say. Thank you.
again, Bill. Yeah. Why does the current seem to jump up when it reaches the end of the line? Well, we know that, uh, that when the spark fires, it ionizes the air around it, right? And we know that heated air rises, which is what the spark follows as it moves up the line. So it follows the ionized trail past the top until it's dissipated to the point it can't maintain the spark. Yes, good. Good, Ryan. Check out the arc light over there. It operates on the same principle. I'll be at my desk. Hey, Ryan. Finished all the books you gave me. All of them? What else you got? What? <laughs> what else, huh? Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I think I have just the thing. Some books are very special, Ryan. Some books can change your life. You think you're ready for it? I was about your age when I first read Wells. Opened my eyes to a whole new world of possibilities. I look forward to hearing your thoughts on that book, Mr. Winrich. Thanks, Bill. Thanks. You're welcome. Right, wait up. Go ahead. You know, Ryan, there's more to life than just books and science projects. Uh-huh. Such as? Uh, such as a certain total hottie that we both know never stops staring at you. <clears throat> Incoming hottie. Hey, what's up? We were just talking about you. What about me? Nothing, nothing at all. And how are you today? Ace the geometry quiz, I'm betting. Hi, Ryan. Hi. Oh, yeah, totally ignore this prime specimen of manhood in you. Focus on the nerd. I see how it is. So I was talking to Howard Phillips at lunch today, and apparently his little sister got so mad at him for trading in her Barbie video game, she put dog shit in his lunchbox. That is gross. No, she actually put it inside his Twinkie. Can you believe that? Uh, you know, it's good to be an only child. Do you have any brothers or sisters, Ryan? No. How about you? Sometimes I wish I had a little sister. Someone to play with, or dress up, or have a bird. Uh, what? What's wrong? I, I left something back at school. I have to go back. We're halfway home. Just leave it till tomorrow. I can't, OK? Ryan, tell me to wait for me. We're not waiting. Tell me to wait. Make him wait. Women. I thought the scum of the school had to stay after class. Wanna peg Katie Webb for a bad girl? What do you want? Katie the bad girl wants to know what I want. What do you got? Nothing. What's this? It's nothing. So then you won't miss it. Give it! What's going on? Hey, hey, it's my favorite dork. Are you okay? You care, dork. She's not your girlfriend, dork. Dream, dork. Stop it! What is going on in here? 
Miss Webb? Hamner took my box. Mr. Rosen, back to detention now. You two, head home. What a jerk. It's not that bad. Yeah. It's for you. Bill, told me it was your birthday today. Yeah, I wasn't really gonna tell anyone. I'm not that big of a birthday person. Open it. This will help you forget the bad times and remember the good ones. It's cool. Ahem. What the hell is this? The love boat? I've been waiting down at the corner like a schmuck. Come on, let's go. It's gonna be dark soon. Jesus. I wanna hear all about this later, okay, Romeo? Where's Nate? I don't know. He'll catch up. So? So? You want me to carry your backpack for you or anything? No. I got it. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's, uh, quiet without Nate. Yeah, it's, um, it's different. Yeah, it's kind of nice, though. Yeah. Yeah. We go through the park today. Yeah, sounds sounds good to me. I got an idea. Let's race. What? Hey. Come on, this way. <laughs> Let me go! Yeah, man! Oh. Ryan! Let go of me! Stay there. I still want my present, Katie. You got a present for me, bad girl? Cause I got a present for you.
How about you give me my present when I'm done with your dork boyfriend? How's that? Get him up. Come on, hit no, me! Come on, hit me! Come on, hit me! Come on, hit me! Come on, hit me, pussy! Come on, hit me! You okay? Yeah. gonna get you one day your friends would always be there oh I'll be there <laughs> this was fun we should do it again sometime <laughs> you're crazy Thanks for walking me home. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. I'm gonna go scrub my face with engine cleaner to make sure I get all this disgustingness off of me. Don't forget about Bill's surprise party on Sunday. All right, see ya. See ya. Bye. Well, thanks. For what? For what? I don't know, saving my life? Admiral Rosen's a douchebag. Someone needed to stick it to him. Well, I owe you one. Well, in that case, you could hook me up with one of Caitlin's hot friends. I'm seriously dying over here. She likes you, you know. I can sense these things. We're just friends. Okay, okay. So, you think Belle suspects anything? I don't know. Guess we'll find out on Sunday. Guess we will. <laughs> Classic. That's just some notes I took on those books he gave me. You know, so maybe we could build a time machine of our own someday. A real one. This is fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are the most talented and gifted students I've ever had. I mean that. And I thank you. This is wonderful. A wonderful surprise. Happy what? birthday! You gotta make a wish now. Make okay, wish. okay. Mm, what's my wish? <laughs> All right! Very good. You got a 
tell us your wish now. Tell us your wish. Tell us your wish. No, no, you don't want to know. You gotta tell us. I can't. It won't come true. Okay, okay, all right. My wish, my hope, is that the three of you stay together. You're a great team. And together, you can accomplish anything. So let's have some cake. Yes. Woo! Let's have some cake. Let's have some cake. Thank you. Happy birthday, birthday. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, Ryan, it's okay if you want to watch these old videos. I don't mind. If you want to talk about it, we can talk about anything you want. I, uh, I miss Dad. You miss Dad? Yeah, I... I wish he was still here. I miss him too, Ryan. And you know that wherever he is, he's always watching out for us. And I'm sure that he wouldn't let anything bad happen to us. As long as we keep him in our hearts. I think I'm gonna walk today. You know, I could drive you. It's okay. But I like to drive you. You can't always protect me, Mom. I just can't. You remember last week we talked about the problem of Achilles and the tortoise. This was a problem that arose around 450 BC with the Greek philosopher Zeno of Alea. Zeno developed these thought experiments as a way to show the inherent problems of Pythagorean philosophy. So who can tell me? What do we call these types of logic problems? Ryan Winrich. Um, what was the question? <laughs> Dork. <laughs> I can see someone has his head in the clouds this morning. No, I was just, uh... <laughs> what a dork. Here, go to the nurse. Okay.
Hey, Mom, did you open my... Um, Ryan, you remember Dr. Matheson from church? That was cool, Ryan. It's fun. Got a cut on your lip. Is there some trouble you want to tell me about? Not really. Okay. I see. Do you know why your mom asked me to talk to you today? No. Well, she's concerned about you. She feels like you don't communicate with her the way you used to. Before the accident. Got some I'd like to show you if I could. Seen that picture before? It's my picture. How do you feel when you look at that picture? The missing. Who? Who do you miss? My dad. Is he the only one you miss? What do you mean? In that photo. Yeah, I guess. incredibly traumatic event and his mind is young and, and fragile he may subconsciously choose to block it out forever <laughs> he doesn't even remember his own <laughs> now try not to worry just be strong you and Ryan will be just fine ask you a question dork do you bring or buy? Check it. Not perfect. I prefer cash. Get off! Nice. <laughs> Looks like we got dork lunches for the whole week right here. What's this? Have a good day at school today, Ryan. Love, Mom. Oh, that's so cute. You having a good day, shithead? Because I know I am. Pleasure doing business with you, dumbass.
They can't hurt you. Don't worry. You're safe now. Is this the first time you've seen him? My name's Bill Marshall. What's yours? Ryan. Ryan Winrich. Well, Ryan, um, I'm headed home. How about you? Maybe we should walk together just to be safe, huh? So, what were those things anyway? Well, they're kind of hard to explain. There's a lot about them we don't know. Mostly, they're just Observers, watchers, you know, lurkers, I call them. They're from a different place, different space. And they uh, check in on our world from time to time. Like in Flatland. What? Good Lord. I didn't read Abbott till I was in grad school. Yeah. My dad gave it to me before he died. I see. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Like in Flatland. Except they don't interact directly. They just observe the natural events in our time-space continuum. At least that's what we think. Who's we? Those of us who can see them and want to understand them. You know, Ryan, I, uh, I learned the hard way that sometimes it's best not to tell people you can see something that they can't. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I saw the, uh, the item in your pocket earlier. And I know that we just met, but uh, is there anything you want to talk to me about? I just almost made a mistake. That's all. Good man. Ryan, where have you been? The school called. I have been worried sick. Mrs. Winridge, I'm Bill Marshall. I'm a professor at Miskatonic University, and uh, I'm a new friend of your son's. He's, uh, he's had a pretty rough day. Are you okay? Go inside and get cleaned up. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marshall. Mrs. Winrich, may I have a word, please? Forgive me if I'm out of line by saying this, but you have a very gifted boy. I wonder if you realize how gifted he is. He's also a very troubled boy, Mr. Marshall. I know, I know. Believe me, I, I understand. I, I teach a class at the university for exceptionally bright and troubled kids, and I, I think Ryan would be right at home with the boys and girls in my class. I just want what's best for him. That's all I want, Mr. Marshall. Please. Call me Bill.
anyway, those are the questions that I thought might work. Okay, well, you know, I think if you reduce one or two of them, then, uh, yeah, this mm -hmm. first one looks a little difficult. It's, uh, I'd simplify it a little bit. Once simplified, uh, they should okay. be able to do no problem. Okay. It shouldn't take any time. Thank you. Okay, I'll sure. talk to you soon. I'll see you later. Okay. Hey, Ryan. Good to see you, man. You ready? Come on in. Take a deep breath. It's going to be good. Nathan, Caitlin, this is Ryan. He's going to be joining us for a while. Nice to meet you. It's called the Wimshurst machine. It's an electrostatic generator. Is it dangerous? Don't touch the current. But you can give it a try. Just turn that crank right there. We're just about to start a game before class. You want to join us? Yeah, sure. So this game's called Cathedral. This is the first piece you start out with, and you put all these pieces around you it. You want to get the most points. Each piece is worth 10 points. Person with the most points wins. I'll start. Nice move. I'll go here. you could do that move. Okay, since you didn't know about it, I'll take it back. But next time I do it, it's gonna be fair, okay? Okay, thanks, Ryan. Okay, Ryan, I want your sister in bed at nine. Okay. Emma, listen to your big brother. He's in charge, okay? Okay. Now be good, no wild parties. I will, I won't. Oh, and please don't eat a ton of junk food. I will know what's missing. Okay. See you in the morning. Good night. I love you. Bye. Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Here he comes now. I'm getting out of here. Sure? I saw him looking in. I'm scared. Emma, go upstairs. Ryan, is that you? Don't answer it, Ryan! Who is it? <laughs> I said, who is it? A friend. Pick up the phone and dial 911. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt you, all right? Just calm down. Just calm down, okay? Ryan, listen to me. This, this is important, okay? I have to talk to you, Ryan. I have to tell you what's, what's going to happen. Very soon, you're going to invent something. An incredible machine. that allows you to travel through time. But you can't. Let it happen, you understand? You can't make it, that's what they want. That's how, that's how they get in. That's how it begins. They're not watchers. They want this world for their own. I've seen 
what those things can do. They get into your, your subconscious. They manipulate everything. You, you have to fight them, Ryan. You, you have to resist. Remember his own sister? I've seen that picture before. He's your missus. Who? Who do you miss? My dad. Is he the only one you miss? What do you mean? In that photo. Mostly they're just observers. Lurkers are kind of. They don't interact directly. They just observe the natural events in our time-space continuum. They're not watchers. They want this world for their own. I've seen what those things can do. You get into your subconscious. They manipulate everything. That's, that's how they get in. That's how it begins. It's for you. Maybe this will help you forget the bad times and remember the good ones. Sister, I have it. I've never taken it off. Some books are very special, Ryan. Some books can change your life. Elma, aim at me! You don't hit me, pussy! Our whole lives, everything, everything has led up to this. How can you ask me to turn and walk away? Finish it. There's a bomb. What? At the lab, there's some crazy guy. He, he's got a bomb inside the event okay. chamber. 
You have to fight them, Ryan! You, you have to resist! Disengaged. Attention. Last door lock release sequence failure. Unable to override. It's time. Activation sequence enabled. Portal activation sequence initiated. Danger. Danger. Safety protocol failure. Human life in extremis. Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. He picked me. God picked me. Access denied. Override. Unable to comply. This is God's will, and I am his messenger. This is God's will. This is God's will. This is how it ends. This is God's will, and I am his messenger. This is how the world is supposed to end. This is how the world is supposed to end. This is how the world ends! Activation sequence complete. Terminal override accepted. Releasing blast doors in. Five, four, three, two, one.
Yeah.